and we want floating worms. I'm not sure. Do you want floating worms? I'm feeling a little wormy. You look wormy. <laughs> That's what the doctor said. Um, yeah, I'll go on the other boat. Yeah, I'm have to... I guess he wants floating worms. So we are heading to this little lake right now and we're gonna fish it for an hour, hour and a half. I think he's gonna start throwing a, a frog. He's gonna work the surface and I'm gonna work the lower portion of the bottom. So he's gonna go high, I'm gonna go low. We're gonna see what we come up with here in a little bit. You ready? I'm ready. Got my zoom trick worms. Seatbelt. I don't want people to get mad at me. Safety first. The promised land. Think we need to plug today? Yeah, we're probably gonna need that. Man, it's not windy enough to go without the plug. One, always put your plug in. Walker's throwing the top water. He's got a frog on. Which frog is that? It's the uh, River to Sea Bully Wah Two. River to Sea frog. I've got a V&M Flat Wild. He's going on the topwater program, and I'm gonna flip this little guy around and see what we can come up with. I think on these bare banks, I thought this was a cover. I think on these bare banks, I'm gonna cheat and throw a little Z Man Ned rig. You giving up on it that soon? No. Down here, I got some bites on it yesterday. Oh, I here. see how it is. Well, it's 48 degrees. <laughs> Excuses, excuses. Yeah. Oh, Walker. On this little tiny corner. Good way to start. I'm not going to put this one. I'm going to lay down. Check that out. Look at that little worm for a big fish. I'll unhook it and show you. Look at Pin them right there, right where you want them. Hard part of the mouth. Look how tiny this little joker is. A little Cheeto. Nice. Great one. You kind of set the bar high. Straight out of the gate, didn't ya? Carbon cutting water. Yeah. Walker gets a three pounder, I get a one pounder. You're gonna catch a big one on that flat one. I see my line this morning. Got it. Good. 
good one? Still some head shakes. Yeah? <laughs> Pretty good. We ain't going to complain about it. Uh-uh. I'll get my hands on them for you. Come here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Great again. Same place. Same place. Look at that. That's a good hook job there. It's quite a quite a versatile bait, isn't it? It really is. You can. I've caught them swimming it. It's like Bubba Gump. You can swim it. You can shake it. Let me see that little drag sucker. Drag it. Pop it. I mean, it's probably one of the most uneventful baits there is out there. It's got not a whole lot going for it, but geez, it does catch them. I love it. Yeah, look now at I that had, guy. Let me touch them before you throw them back. There you go. Yeah, that's Walker's fish. Oh, about three pounds? Yeah. Three, yeah, we'll call it three and a quarter. Three and a half, maybe. Little net, little Ned rig. Oh, uh, Wesley Strader and Luke Duncan, two of my good buddies, they they turned me on to that deal, and you know, they told me, they said, you will not believe how many big fish you'll catch on that thing, because I, I saw it, and I said, there, I said, yeah, if you want to go catch 12 inches, maybe, and they said, no, man, they said, throw it, skip it under the docks, anything, and I mean, they're, they're right so far, they said, you will not believe the size of fish that thing catches. And it looks like it would be like a uh, real clear water finesse type deal. And I guess it is finesse when you consider, you know, eight pound fluorocarbon and, you know, medium action rod. But man, this thing in dirty water too, I just, I think it's just, the color's called June bug. I mean, it's unbelievable how that thing catches fish. I love it. But again, you know, you can, I, I've actually caught some on some of those weird days, you know, I've caught some uh, swimming it, reeling it real slow. In the water column? Mm -hmm. I don't know why that is, but you can't argue with it when they want it that way. It's one of those things that looks crazy until you try it. Because I'm really not, I'd rather not throw spinning tackle when I'm around big fish, but you know, it's, like we've been talking about, it's cold this morning. Still got my flip flops on. I can't really feel my toes right now. You know that? Yep. I like that dang corner, don't you? They do. With four bites. You just need to get in there with that TRD. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm getting there. Those. This is what I'm getting. This is what the pack looks like if you want to grab some. Weedless finesse shrooms with a Z. Shrooms. I've been using a sixth ounce today. They're a little bit bigger than the rest of the ones I have, but you know, it's wind and all that stuff. It's got a little. Got a little wire or cable weed guard it looks like and got a little bait keeper to keep your finesse TRD up there so it doesn't keep sliding down. Not a biggie. We'll take him. He bit light, didn't he? Yeah, well. I saw you check him a couple of times. Yeah. Oh, there's a bite. Yeah. Gosh, 
gosh, every one you've <laughs> caught is nice on that thing, dang yeah. near. That jump net ring. Barely biting it. Look how he's got that thing gone. Yeah, man. That. I'm looking at it. Isn't that neat? <laughs> Again, that's how many cow? Four fish, three fish on it today? Three or four. Yeah. Three, I look. think, but might have got four. It's still totally intact. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. It'll slide it's it'll slide down just a hair from the head, but if I had some super glue in this boat, this isn't my primary boat. If I had some super glue, I'd do that and it would solve that issue, no problem. I got another bite too. Yeah? Yeah. You're not gonna. You're not gonna hardly go through one worm nah, no. in a day. I can't tell. He's big. He's running right at me. Yep. Another good one. Just another nice one. Wow. That's pretty. Neat. That's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. Yeah. Just another quality fish. I mean, dude. You can't make this stuff up. I mean it. The productivity is speaking for itself. They're all cookie cutters, aren't they? Just nice. These Florida strains don't do well with that. And I don't know if y'all have noticed this either. This is something else to chew on. I bet you almost every bass we've caught on camera today will have to go back and look at the footage, but look at these dorsals. They've all got jacked up dorsals. You see that, Kyle? Yeah. Like you can't even... You can't even pull it up. I don't want to hurt the guy, but I mean, I've noticed that for years in this pond, in this lake rather. I mean, their dorsals are usually just about that big. Huh. That's kind of neat. Look, where he got it again. I mean, what the heck? Why, why would you? <laughs> don't fight it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The little bugger is catching them. Don't even have to readjust the bait. Don't even have to touch it. I think you've had three or four fish on that thing. Yeah. And they've I'll, all been quality. I've been, been near four pounds. Yeah, and then, I mean, typically you would think the bait that I'm throwing would be a little more targeted to bigger fish. Mm -hmm. But that's just not the case. Sometimes Always. They're... Sometimes they want a snicker instead of a steak, you know? Yeah, exactly. Catch one here and it's gonna be a video ender. Uh-oh. That's Good. a better, uh, that's better than the last one. Yeah, that's a good one. Nice. Where was he? Way out? He was out further. Yeah, I had the bolt right over him just a little bit ago. Good. Oh, yep, 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 yep. That's a good way to end. Right there. There we go. That's a nice, pretty, clean fish. Right there. I'll take those. That's what we were looking for. That guy right there. <laughs> Sweet. We'll let her go right away. Nice. Boy, that is about the cleanest fish we've pulled out of here. Yeah, there ain't a mark on her. Not a mark on her. Look at that. It's beautiful. Yeah. She's got a normal dorsal fin. She does. Look how nice and tall, like Walker was saying. The ones that have been screwy. This one's just perfectly clean. I'm going to get a release of her.